I'm Jay at Pangyo Techno Valley, are we, and we are here with Alfred Petz. Talia, right? Hi, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can you tell us a little bit about your company and what you guys do? Okay, so Alfred Pets, we started in 2020 here in Korea. And then we make some cat litter by upcycling coffee ground. So we get coffee ground waste and then upcycle it in our, com in our factory. And then we we'll mix it with, together with another, another like natural ingredients. And then, yeah, this is a premium cat litter brand, Eddie Cat. So your Alfred Pets, your premium cat litter brand is called yes. Eddie Cat. Right. And it's made with coffee grounds, yes. correct? I got that all right. That's true. Okay. I'm allergic to cats, so I don't know too much about really? cats and okay. cat litter. Yeah. My next question is, uh, what makes your cat litter unique? Um, so, actually in the United States, oh, so, um, how to mix it right? So, we at a cat, we don't sell it in Korea, but okay. we are more focused in the United States. Actually, we, we sell here in Korea, but not with this brand. So, at a cat brand only selling in, in uh, the States. So, in Korea, we, uh, we usually um, sell it with like ODM, like private labeling. Okay, sure. So in the States, there's, there's a lot of like sustainable um, cat litter product, but they are only using like natural ingredients. So there's not a lot of uh, cat litter brands um, using like upcycling um, category, okay. as you can say. So uh, this is like our product is like the first product using the upcycling coffee ground material. Ah. So yeah, we got the waste from um, like cafes on our like factories, and mm -hmm. then we got it, and then we just yeah upcycled it. So it's a completely upcycled product. Right. So right. it's natural and upcycle. Yes. Okay, and and what makes coffee ground cat litter unique besides being upcycled? Mm -hmm. I yeah. understand uh, the competitiveness with other brands. Yeah. But what makes this better than other product products? Uh, sure. Um, so yeah, um, probably I need to like um, explain to you. A whole about cat litter. Okay, so, great. There's a general cat litter called uh -huh. like clay based cat litter. It's a, um, made from bentonite. Okay. So it's made from like a mineral from like um, mountains like that. So if you make it from bentonite, it's gonna be like you need to like uh, strip mining the mountains and then it's gonna be not really good for environment. But, uh, because of that, there's a lot of like sustainable brands out there, but okay. they are only using natural ingredients and everything. Um, the I mean, the benefit from our cat litter is that because we're using coffee, it really well, coffee is really well known for like um, neutralizing smells. Right, right, sure. So like sure. a lot of people using like a fertilizer or maybe using like, they put it in a car to just remove the car smell and everything, right? And then we use um, coffee grounds and then because of we using coffee grounds, we don't need to like um, put another perfume in the cat litter. So oh, a lot of a okay. lot of cat litter brands they use um, perfume and additional perfume to cover the smells from the cat feces and urine, but for our product it's natural deodorizer as you can say. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really good because and also because um, cat they are very sensitive to smells. So if we if you they also sometimes don't like the their own like urine and feces smells. Sure. So um, if you you can imagine if you put like more perfume to the like bad odors inside it, it's gonna be like more bad. I mean, the, the odor gonna be worse. So by using this natural deodorizer, like using coffee, it's just better for the pet and also for the um, pet owners as so well. So it's upcycled, made right. with coffee, no added, no extra added no. Uh, perfumes or anything like that. Yes. I mean, I, I get it. I love the smell of coffee. <laughs> I actually didn't know cats do too, but uh, apparently I guess cats do too. So you have this brand competitiveness and the fact that you're a completely upcycled product, right. nothing else added into it. Yes. My next question usually revolves around their target market. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask this, but I assume the answer is anyone who buys cat litter. Well, let's <laughs> go for it. Okay. Who's your target market? Um, our target market is um, more to demographic is more women in the middle, like 30s, 40s. Okay. In the States, yeah. So you, so you have a specific target market. Yeah, sure, Usually sure. it's middle-aged women who are buying cat litter? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Because there's a lot of like cat lady out there in the States. I mean, there's a lot of like people, young, younger people also uh, have cats also, but sure. um, most of them usually still like sensitive to prices. Okay. Because natural um, cat litter obviously going to be higher than the traditional and use, general premium cat Premium product, right, premium right, price. Right, right. That's why we are aiming for a woman that um, already like having um, like stable sure. um, what do you get? income. Job income. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. So, however, there's a big 
Well, that may be your main target. Obviously, yes. anyone who uses cat litter, yes. uh, if they want to upgrade mm -hmm. to a more premium product um, with natural materials and being a recycled product, I think it would be worth the extra dollar mm -hmm. then. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that you actually export into the States that you, you have this also as an ODM available product in mm -hmm. Korea. Right. So you're exporting the States now. Are you wanting to export to any other countries? Are there, are there companies you've already connected with in the States? Being American, I mean, I obviously mm -hmm. go, I think right away of Amazon, Petco, yeah. Walmart. Mm -hmm. Are you already in these? Um, companies and areas? Are you trying to penetrate the U.S. market? How is your exporting process going? Um, yeah, so we uh, have sold our product in, to Amazon since 2021. Okay. But we are more active like in 2002 or 2023 in Amazon. And then we also have our Shopify website. And then we sold the product to some um, independent pet stores in L.A. and SF area as well. And yeah, um, but we are still contacting more, more and more pet stores. And of course, our goal is to get our product to like a big stores like PetSmart, Petco, or so maybe like- you're not foods. in Petco or PetSmart yet, no, but yet. that's like the goal for this course, year or yes. for next quarter, I guess yes. you could say. Yes, that's okay, true. so that's your big goal now. Yeah. Um, you're, in the, you're, you're in the US market. You wanna go bigger within the US market. Your right. product is also available in Korea through ODM brands. Yes. Are you wanting to penetrate any other market? Are you guys looking to Europe or anywhere else after mm -hmm. the States? After the States, of course, of course, um, probably we are aiming to like Japan market at first because oh, okay. it's closer. And also we heard that a lot of cats also happening in um, Japan. And also after Japan, maybe Europe market because Europe market, I, we also heard that there's, there's a lot of cats there. So, and then they are very into it for a sustainable product. Yes. That's why we are also aiming for That was my, my, my yes. question about the European market. Yes. It seems like, wow, there's a lot of cat ladies, as you said, right, in the States, right, which right. is very true. Right. Being American, I know that term. Uh, I think Europe is still more focused on sustainability yes, and that's possibly premium brands in this way than the U.S. Yeah. market. But obviously, the U.S. market is huge. Yes. In order to get this brand off the ground, launched and future business plans. What helped you get this brand started up to now and what are your future business plans? Mm, can you repeat that question? Sure, to get this brand started, did you go through um, crowdfunding? Did you go through oh. seed money? How'd you guys get your brand off the ground? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, for this, for Cat, we actually have our seed funding in Korea. From, okay. Um, some kind of like a, uh, organization. Sure. And then um, after that, uh, actually, we are, we're going to upgrade this product, okay. so we're going to launch it soon through crowdfunding uh, this October, actually. So it's going to be called Etiquette Cat Plus. So it's going to be better. Uh -huh. It's going to be better than, I mean, better in all the feature, like the clumping, the smell and everything. You, can, you guys can look forward to it. Um, yeah, it's going to be launching in crowdfunding this October. Okay. And then also the, the thing that we do to um, spread the news about this product is that we are contacting to like shelters in the States. We are also going to like donate our product and everything. And then just also go to like some kind of, um, how do you say, uh, communities, mm -hmm. communities in the state, local, local communities, like cat communities or like everything like that. And okay. Then, so you start with some seed money. Now for your uh, Etiquette Plus, you're going through like crowdfunding. Yes. Uh, through Korea's crowdfunding, or are you going through like American uh, Kickstarter? American Kickstarter. Kickstarter? Yes. Okay, that was, a, I assumed it was going to be Kickstarter. Yeah, Kickstarter. I'm sure you'll do great. There's so many people crazy about cats in the States yes. that if you already have such a like premium product and you're upgrading it, so it's basically going to have um, a more, the capacity to reduce even more odors than, than this one. Mm. No, actually, the what, what makes it plus? So actually, the removing order is already the best. So it's gonna be the same. Okay. For Etiquette Plus, but um, for clumping, I mean the the so main benefits in cat litter, they usually have to be like good clumping, okay. good odor controlling, okay. no dust and everything. So we're gonna we just wanna have the best product for the cats, right? Okay. Um, so in the Etiquette Plus, uh -huh. it's still gonna be have a great odor control, okay. but also like we increasing the clumping um, feature. Got it. So it's gonna be more faster, quicker, and then it's just a firm clumping. Okay. And then it's make um to, it makes like clean to easy easy to clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, easier to clean. That's uh, the one. And then um, yeah, we also um, added some other material. So we're um, in the Etiquette Plus, we're not only uh, like um, 
upcycling coffee ground, but okay. also we also upcycling other material called pulp. Okay. So it's a kind of a material that is using used for uh, making like di diapers, like mm -hmm. sanitary products. Mm -hmm. So we upcycle that kind of uh, material as well. There you go. There's the plus. Yeah. So that's a more like sustainable value into that. My last question for our interview. We're here at Pangyo Techno Valley at the startup center. Yeah. What is the advantage of being here? Oh, um, yeah, that's a lot. Um, so maybe one of the benefits being in Pangil is that it's a global hub here. Mm -hmm. You know that there's a lot of startup here in Pangil. I mean, born in Pangil, or maybe they moved to Pangil. And we can do a lot of like networking with another startup founders here. And also a lot of start startup founders having the same dream to go to the US or to go to global. So that's a plus. And then also the location also, it's near to Seoul, near to Gangnam, where right, all the right. big companies are there. Sure. And then big events are there, like to COAX, and also it's really, really near. So yeah, there's a lot of things. So convenient, networking, yes. so many other people to talk to that want to go global. Yes. It's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much Thank for you. Uh, sharing your time with us today. Thank I, you. I know you guys are busy. Uh, Alfred Pets is the name of the company, and yeah. Etiquette is the brand. Yes. And you are launching Etiquette Plus, Plus. this year or this next year? This year in October. Etiquette Plus this year in October. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. All right.